Next on Comcast Newsmakers, brr, it's cold and it's time to turn up the heat. Coming up, Spokane's fire chief talks safety when it comes to fireplaces, portable heaters, and candles. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today, we are at the beautiful, historic Campbell House, and joining me right now, Spokane Fire Chief Bobby Williams. Nice to see Chief, you. Thank you. Always great to see you. Thanks yes, so much. Of course, very, very cold this time of year. Everybody is uh, trying just about anything to stay warm, whether it's your fireplace, your furnace, those portable heaters, uh, candles look really lovely this time of year. So uh, talk about what it is, what we need to keep in mind when we are using all these different things in order to stay warm. Absolutely. Well, you know, one of the largest causes of, of fires in, in Spokane and around the country are heating devices, all types of heating devices, as you mentioned. So for those that have and use uh, portable heaters, we are always caution individuals to do that, to make sure that they keep them at least three feet away from any combustibles. Uh, that's what we see the most common is combustibles. You get pushed up against them and all of a sudden they're out of the room, they don't notice and the fire gets going and it grows very quickly. Obviously for portable heating devices, you don't want anything that would generate carbon monoxide uh, because it, it can be a deadly killer. So you have to be very, very careful with bringing in any kind of uh, device that does not self vent to the outside. So like a way. propane, propane or anything like kerosene, something that. like that. For those that use fireplaces, of course, you have to use the, uh, the screens and or glass fronts to keep the sparks from popping out onto carpets or other combustible materials. And make sure you don't burn Christmas wrappings this time of year. Or Which is other, tempting. It really is. Or other things that we, we call flashy fuels that give off a lot of heat very, very quickly because it can cause damage to the structure of your fireplace, uh, chimney liner, etc. Uh, also try to clean your fireplaces. If you use them regularly, creosote can build up and cause a problem. For uh, those who love to use candles, uh, we like to see, we're very glad to see the flameless candles invented because they're much more safe. Uh, they give a very great ambiance mm -hmm. to, the, to, the, to the home. If you have to use a, uh, a regular candle, natural candle, please make sure that it's away from any combustibles. Uh, this time of year, we also see a lot of cooking and uh, that is another major cause of fire. So be careful, don't leave the kitchen unattended. If you have a grease fire, never put water on it. Turn off the heat, put a lid on it, but never put water. If you introduce water, it can cause the grease and the fire to explode. A uh, lot of decorations go on, so we see a lot of electrical advices. Be careful that you don't overload your electrical circuits. We have already been to a number of fires where the circuits get overloaded, particularly with old knob and tube wiring. It causes fires in the attic and other places. So be careful that you don't overload. And then this time of year, when you're looking for gifts, uh, think about smoke detectors. Think about carbon monoxide detectors. Those kind of things that can fairly inexpensively, but they inexpensive, but they can mean life and death for a family. So make sure you have smoke detectors. They're installed. They have working batteries, and um, that can make a big difference. Yeah, good good reminders. We always think about that when the the clocks uh, when we spring forward or fall back. Fall but of course, of course, right now at holiday time is also a good good reminder. Uh, medical calls, you see some this time of year, maybe more so uh, than some other times during yeah, the year. Yeah, particularly when we see uh, snow and people outside having to clear that, they go out and exert themselves and they haven't warmed up and it can cause cardiac events. So we really encourage the community to learn hands-only CPR. CPR has changed, it's much easier to do now, it's only compressions and it can make a real difference um, for those who suffer that event and can help responders who they're on the way uh, to, to save a life and make sure that people go home safe. And so people can take a class or is there even some information online? You can go online? right on our website and it's a short video. It's very easy to learn and to do and uh, www.spokanefire.org and learn to do hands-only CPR. Yeah, I know all the kids are learning it now yeah, too. So absolutely. it is super easy and like you said, saves lives. Happy Chief, holidays. Happy holidays to you and thanks so much for all the reminders. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news coming up at the top and bottom of the hour.